Sports Center in Los Angeles. This is KCAL 9 News at 4. And now at 4, will the Cardinals take the Rams by the horns, or will the Rams headbutt the birds right out of the playoffs? NFL Wild Card Weekend wraps up tonight at the home of Super Bowl 56. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jasmine Hill. And I'm Chris Holmes, and this is KCAL 9 News at 4. We're also streaming on CBSN Los Angeles. All right, so SoFi Stadium hosts its first ever playoff game tonight as the Rams host the Arizona Cardinals. Let's give you a live look from Sky 9 as fans are making their way to the stadium with kickoff just over an hour away. Sports director Jim Hill, he is live down there in with the war on the wild card showdown, Jim. Jasmine, thank you very much here in Inglewood. As they're saying in the stands, it's about to go down, that is for sure, because after splitting the series during the regular season, the Rams and the Cardinals here at Inglewood at SoFi Stadium will face each other for a third time this evening, but this time it is win or go home. The big news today before the game, as the Cardinals activated three-time defensive player of the year, J.J. Watt, off the engine reserve list, which means he will play in tonight's game against the Rams. And I spoke with L.A. Times writer Bill Plasky earlier today, about the pressure riding on not only quarterback Matthew Stafford, but the whole team to deliver in the postseason. This is about more than just Matthew Stafford. It's about Sean McVay. Remember, Sean McVay is a toy genius. He handpicked Stafford. It's his point.